Today, you guys get a free like and subscribe animation, kind of like this one right here. And uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today, we're going to be doing a like and subscribe animation for my YouTubers out there, or if you're wanting to start in the world of YouTube, you're going to need some animations like this to make your videos pop and to let people know to like your video and subscribe to the channel. Everyone should be doing YouTube if you're trying to grow as a content creator, if you're a streamer, if you're on TikTok, anything like that, be making YouTube videos. It's a great place to grow your community and your viewership, and you can get a lot of traction on YouTube, so you should be making YouTube videos, and you're going to need some awesome animated graphics to get started in the world of YouTube, kind of like this one right here where you can remind your viewers to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it. Animations like this are really simple and really clean and can add a lot to your YouTube videos and when people watch that they're like, wow, he has a lot of production value and they're not that hard to make. So I'm going to show you how I quickly made this inside of After Effects and I'm actually going to give this to you for free. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you how you can get this animation to throw in your videos right now without any After Effects, any programs. It's fully exported on a transparent background for you. But without further ado, let's jump into After Effects, take a look at the quick animation that I did for this, and show you guys how to make your own if you want something a little bit more customized than this one right here. So let's jump into After Effects. Alright guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. I've got this composition right here with the animation you just saw at the beginning. This is the comp that I created it in. So we're going to create a new comp, and I'm going to show you how I do this subscribe animation right here. The like is identical to the subscribe button pretty much, so I'm just going to show you how I made the subscribe button. So we're going to create a new composition by going up here to composition, hit new composition. We're going to leave it 1920 by 1080. I'll call it uh, tutorial, if I can spell it right. Tutorial, just like that. Cool. Now we're going to create the subscribe button, and it's really easy to do that. You head up here to your shapes, you go ahead and hold down on the shape, and you go to the rounded rectangle, and you can go ahead and draw a nice subscribe button shape. And as you can see, it looks pretty good, but I don't think the corners are rounded enough. So we're going to go over here to our layer. We're going to hit the drop down. We're going to drop down into the contents. We're going to drop down into rectangle, into rectangle path. And you're going to see these little parameters right here. And we're going to up the roundness. So let's up the roundness till we get a button shape that we like. So maybe right around there, right at 60 is a pretty good looking button shape. But now we need to change the colors to our subscribe button. So we're going to click on the layer. We're going to come up here to where it says fill and it's blue because I just made the like button and the other one. So it's blue. And we're going to change this to a nice YouTube red kind of like that right there. If you want to be accurate, you can download the YouTube logo and pull the color from that, but that is a pretty accurate red to what the YouTube red is. Now it is time to make our text. We're going to click the text tool. We're going to type out subscribe. I'm going to do it all in caps just like that. And the font I'm using for this is called Roboto. I'm not sure if that is a built-in font inside of Adobe or inside of Windows, but I really like it. If you guys do not have it, I highly suggest looking for it online to download it. I love Roboto. We're using Roboto black so we're going to go ahead and grab this and we're going to up the scale a little bit just like that and then we'll use the align tools to center it up just like that beautiful from there i want to add a little bit more detail so i'm going to go up to the effects just like that and we're going to type in drop because we want the drop shadow effect and we're going to go ahead and drop it on our text and you're going to see that's going to add a little bit of dimension to our text you can see it here off and then on off and on i just think the drop shadow makes it look nice and clean and now it is time to begin our animation so i'm actually going to shut off the subscribe text layer for now we're going to go and hide it by hitting this eyeball right down here and we're just going to focus on animating this box in so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit and we're going to go ahead and close up all of our contents here and we're going to open up the transform tools down here so it's time to begin keyframing so the first thing we're going to do is keyframe our scale and our rotation so we're going to hit the stopwatch next to scale and next to rotation and we're going to move forward maybe about uh, let's go forward like 50 frames just like that and hit this little button right here to add keyframes because this is where we want it to end. So we need to add our keyframes there. Then we're going to head back to the beginning and we're going to go ahead and scale down to zero and we're going to move our rotation like quite a bit, maybe to like 60. Let's try that for now and go ahead and hit play. And you're going to see it kind of scales in and rotates in at the same time, just like that. So it looks pretty bland and boring. And the way we want to fix that is we want to go ahead and select all of our keyframes, right click on one of the keyframes, make sure you're on the actual keyframe. So when you select them, make sure you click on the keyframe. When you right click, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. So once you click easy ease, that's going to allow you to go into this little chart right here and adjust our speed graph. You don't, if you don't see this, if it doesn't look like this, go ahead and right click and make sure you go to edit speed graph. It might look like this. You want to go to 
speed graph. And from here, we can grab this little node right here and you see these little uh, handles pop up and you can pull the handle into kind of this shape right here. Click on this one and do the same thing with this handle just like that. So this is saying it's gonna go fast and then it's gonna kind of slow out. So we're gonna go woo. -hoo. So let's see what that looks like. And as you can see, that looks way better. You see, it comes in nice and fast and then slows down at the end. Beautiful. So from there, I'm going to add a little bit of dimension to the animation. So the way I'm going to do that is instead of having it land right here, we're going to go ahead and mess with the rotation and have it over rotate a little bit. So let's mess around with the over rotation just like that. And then we're going to come forward a couple frames and then we're going to put this back to zero. So whenever it comes in, it's going to go too far and then it's going to come back. So let's see what that looks like. There we go. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit longer. I came back a little too fast. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. So as you see, that's a cool way to add a little bit of dimension and a little bit of flair to your animations. Let's go ahead and fit this to the screen and let's play that again. You can see how it just kind of comes in, over rotates and then corrects itself. That's a pretty cool way to add a nice little style to it. So what we want to do now is we want to turn back on our subscribe text layer, but you're going to notice that the subscribe just kind of sits there like that. So what we want to do is we want to come to the end once the animation is finished. We want to click on our subscribe layer and come over here to this parent and link tab. And we want to drag this little spiral pick whip and parent it to our shape layer. So you're just going to grab it and you'll see a blue line pop up and then go ahead and drag it to the shape layer. And now the subscribe text is going to be fixed to that animation, fixed to your shapes. You'll see the subscribe now moves with it. And you could leave it like this. As you can see, that looks really cool with the subscribe coming in. But what I did in the other animation is I added a rectangular mask just like this around the text. And then when it was in about right here, I went to the mask properties on the subscribe. I hit the keyframe, the stopwatch next to mask path. I moved forward a couple frames like this. I hit the keyframe again, and then I went back to the old keyframe and moved this mask like this. So it was covering up the subscribe layer. So it kind of revealed it like this. As you can see, the mask between those two keyframes reveals the subscribe. So then it looked like this. And that's what I did for the animation that you can see at the beginning. You see the subscribe kind of wipe in like that. I think it just adds a little bit more dimension to the animation. So it's just a bunch of little things like that that you add to your animations that make them look a lot more complex than they actually are. But now it's time for the most important part and really like the easiest part is how to make it click like it has been subscribed. So once the animation has finished coming in, you're going to give it a couple seconds and you're going to come here to the shape layer and you just want to hit the scale keyframe right here. You want to add another scale keyframe. You want to move forward a couple frames kind of like this. You want to go down in scale a little bit. So make it smaller. I like to go to about 90% just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and move forward a couple more frames again. And we're going to go to 100% again. So now let's play this and you see it goes click, click. Click, click, and that's all you have to do for the click. But in the middle of the click, it needs to switch from the red subscribe button to the gray subscribed button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the middle where it's at the 90%, right in the middle of the click right here. And we're going to hit Control Shift D or Command Shift D if you're on a Mac for the shape layer. And we're going to do the same thing for the text layer, Command or Control Shift D. And what that's going to do is that's going to split the layer right where your little playhead is. So right in the middle of our animation. And from there, we're going to change this layer right here, this text layer, we're going to change it to say subscribed. And we shouldn't have to move it at all as you can see because we have it set to be centered. It is a centered text layer. If it's not a centered text layer, you might need to use the align tools to put it back in the center. But now it says subscribed. And then we can click on the second part of the shape layer where we cut it and we can go ahead and go up here to fill and change this to a nice light gray just like that. So now you'll see in the middle of the animation, it changes from subscribe to subscribed. There we go. That is our beautiful subscribe button animation. You could be done or you can add a like button like I did in the beginning and the like is the exact same thing. All you have to do is scale out the subscribe button. So have it scaled down to just nothing and then have the like button come in and do the exact same animation. It scales in, it can over rotate and then it can click and then it can go to blue. So it'd start gray and then it'd turn to blue because when you like it, it becomes blue. When you subscribe, it becomes gray. So there is our animation right there. As you can see, that is how quickly we just made this. I'll go ahead and add an 
out point so that we can watch it on loop and you can see how cool this subscribe button looks. It is a very clean animation that you can add to your YouTube videos. You can make it a big animation like this and you can put it front and center on the screen kind of like this if you want it to be massive or you can put it nice and small down the corner if you just want to have it playing throughout your video. You can do so much with this animation but when it's time to export you're going to see that we built this on a transparent layer by toggling this but you see that we built it on a transparent layer so what we can do is we can go up here to composition and we can go to add to render queue make sure you have your in and out points set for the whole animation like I did add to render queue and here in the output module you want to click on where it says lossless in blue click on that and change the format from AVI to QuickTime it's just a little bit of a smaller easier to use file type and then under channels right here change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha the plus alpha is what adds the transparent background it's called an alpha background so you don't have a black background behind your animation you've got a transparent background hit OK and then over here where it says output 2 and you've got the blue text here click on that that's where you can name it whatever you want save it wherever you want inside of your computer and then you hit the button over here that says render and you are done. And that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy seeing how easy it is to make an awesome subscribe animation like that. But for those of you who don't want to do this inside of After Effects, you don't want to make one, or maybe you don't even own After Effects, in the description there's a link to where you can download the animation that I showed in the beginning. This one, more specifically, the subscribe and like the video animation completely free. You can download it right now. It'll be a quick time file just ready to throw into your edit with a transparent background and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy the animation and I hope you enjoyed jumping into After Effects and making your own more custom animations. If you make something awesome, make sure you either send it to me on Twitter or join the Discord. You can join our Discord with the link in the description of every single video. There's an invite in there. Join the Discord. we got plenty of channels where you can post the stuff that you make and people will comment on it, let you know what they think, and give you some feedback. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.